This is the cornhole addendum video. In other words, the things I should have told you in the last video but didn't. Number one, make sure your microphone's turned on so you don't have to record this video again. Number two, make sure to add play in the system. Don't cut that notch so tight that it can't wiggle. If you do, it'll be hard to put the thing in and get it out. So a little bit of slop there is quite a bit more usable than a lot of precision. Now, while we're looking at this corner, this is the weakest part of the set. There's not a lot of contact there holding this board and that board together. So here's what happens. You loan it out to a friend who doesn't know to lift it all at once to completely avoid that problem. You loan it out to a friend who picks it up by the hole and that creates leverage, which separates this board and that board very easily. You can avoid this problem if you just pick it up the whole thing at once, but cut a 45 degree angle here. If I was to do it again, I would bring it back to this line here where there's just a little bit of a ridge, then straight to the 45, and that'll nearly completely eliminate that risk by making sure there's clearance in that 45 so that when just one side of the board's pulled up, you don't have that issue because there's nothing there or very little there to grab. These mounts here for the legs, this provides a lot of strength for this area here. The leg is gonna want to push this that way. If you make sure this is glued well, so clamp it, glue it, screw it if you want to, whatever, make sure this is attached well, that will join this rail to the cornhole top in a way that provides all the strength you need to make sure that leg assembly is strong and secure and doesn't mess with anything around here. Now, when it comes to the hole, make sure that you mount it in a spot that's natural to lift the thing up all at once. So on one side of the board, you'll have an exterior spot you can grip to pull it up put the hole on the other side so you can use both hands to just lift it up and put it in very easily. And make sure you don't mount your washer set where I did. That gets quite pinchy. And the last item on the list, I think, is to think about how you wanna attach the top to the rails. You can do screws. That will add quite a bit of weight, I think. So we chose to use wood glue and brad nails. On some of the sets, we did finish nails. If I was to do it again, I would just go with the finish nails. What we observed is that when you dry the finish nails in there, the little bit bigger of a head on those 16 gauge nails really slams this and clamps it to that rail down there, creating a nice, good glue joint. I think that's all for the cornhole set. Over to the washers. Uh, real quick, if you wanna paint your washers, be aware paint will chip. If you create a groove, how I did this might be another video, but if you create some sort of recessed groove, thin paint, and then wipe off the paint, leaving what's in the groove there, then that should prevent any chipping from happening. I think the biggest risk of the washer set is if you don't mount the PVC to the wood well. It's tempting to just use glue, but there's not a really good glue that will do a flush connection there that's strong enough to withstand a heavy washer beating it, assuming that you make some. So what we did to get around that is we made a circle smaller than the diameter of the inside of the PVC, and first used wood glue to join the wooden circle to the wooden base and some staples from below. And then once that was dry, took some Gorilla Glue, the foaming type, and put that around the circle, put the PVC around that, some weight up top, so the foam doesn't cause the PVC to move. Once dry, put a screw right here in the front. So that should provide a really solid connection that should outlast the rest of the washer set.